Hi everyone, welcome to this next instalment of Archives Behind the Scenes. Today we're just going to speak briefly about one of our most valuable part of the State Archives collection and also one of the most popular in terms of its use and that is the Colonial Secretary's correspondence. I guess one of the reasons it's so popular is that the Colonial Secretary was really one of the first government officials to start work in the colony uh, on European settlement and long before other government agencies and government departments were established. So it meant that the Colonial Secretary really had, for want of a better expression, a finger in lots of different pies when it comes to government administration. And as a result of that, the correspondence that was created by the Colonial Secretary and his department is very valuable indeed because it covers such a wide breadth of information. So if you're interested in someone who was a convict, a free immigrant, someone who was naturalised, someone who was admitted to a jail or a mental asylum, you may well find information in the Colonial Secretary's correspondence. The boxes that you can see here are just part of that Colonial Secretary's correspondence. And without getting anything even out of the boxes, you can be excited by just what's written on the outside of these. So up here, for example, we see a, this box containing volumes from 1837 to do with the female orphan school, the male orphan school, and the police at Bathurst. Then we've got more volumes and uh, volumes of, uh, and boxes to do with police. Underneath, on this next shelf, we've got information to do with the Surveyor General created by the Colonial Secretary's Department, the Supreme Court, uh, sheriff and jailers, solicitors and attorney general, prisoners, and so the list goes on. As I said, you can get pretty excited just by reading the outside of these boxes, let alone the wonderful, unique material that's contained within the documents within these boxes. Now, details of how to use the Colonial Secretary's correspondence and the type of information that you're likely to find in the correspondence is all available on our website at www.records.nsw.gov.au. Hopefully that'll set you off on your successful research of what we call the Colsec correspondence for short. Thank you and bye-bye.